We had drink to drink and pee. We, we had nice. to drink pee every five minutes. Or maybe even more often. You ate some of it, but you are not track anymore, which is good. <laughs> We are in the middle of nowhere with a whole bunch of sand. In fact, I suspected that this is the location where Lepros shot below. below. Um, but it turned out that it was not true. So now it's officially just some place with a whole bunch of sand. So here we are to tell you how we filmed the music video for the song Salary, which came out a few days ago. And for starters, we have to tell you how we gathered all those monitors. So we went on OLX, which is the Polish Craigslist, and we just found people who wanted to get rid of their monitors. The problem was the monitors were really old, so they only had VGA connectors, they didn't have HDMI or display ports. Um, and our laptops are quite new, so they only have HDMI or display ports. So we had two laptops and we had a whole bunch of uh, USB to VGA adapters to hook everything up and it actually took us like it took us an hour to set up the monitors on location uh, and we had to render the surve surveillance camera videos in a whole bunch of different resolutions so if a monitor was HD we had to have it in HD if it was a square monitor we had to have it in a one-to-one -one ratio apart from that we had to get the dolls a normal doll and an abnormal doll so for the normal doll, we just found an old lady who was selling dolls in the city. Uh, as for the second doll, it was actually constructed and painted by a girl from Gdańsk. She made the doll for the anti-abortion laws strike, which was going on in Poland around that time. So that, that the doll was supposed to be a symbol of an aborted fetus or something. You know better. I have no idea what it was supposed to be a symbol of, but what I know is it looked absolutely <laughs> scary. But it's really unique and it's like explosion of artistic vision of that girl. We had to find a place to shoot the music video and we found an artsy Airbnb. Really nice one with huge balcony. With a huge balcony which was basically a roof of a building and it was like 20 minutes away from our home by car and we rented it for three days but yeah. not the complete three days we had time after afternoon on the first day then we had a full next day and we had to leave the apartment early in the morning on the third day uh, but we weren't sure that we make it on time so we wanted to extend our renting but it wasn't possible it turned out it wasn't possible the problem was with logistics because to film um, all the surveil sur surveillance, to film all the surveillance cameras, uh, we had to come, place the doll, film the doll from different angles, then edit the surveillance camera effect, render it in different resolutions for all monitors, and then come the next day, because we had the equipment for video editing at home, so we had to come home, then come the next day and run the footage on all the monitors. The problem was that I forgot to film the second doll, the evil one. On the day of the shoot we didn't have the surveillance camera footage for the angry aborted doll, so we had to film me singing the song with the first doll on the surveillance cameras, then we had to film the evil aborted fetus doll, then we had to drive home, edit it, and come in the next day very early in the morning at like 5 a.m. for the sunrise, and film me singing the song with that doll again but the problem was that the lighting conditions were completely different because the first time it was afternoon and the next time it was just very very morning. early in the morning uh, so editing that was very very fun <laughs> and we had to take really difficult de decision because we didn't know if we want uh, all the setup stay overnight or no it was quite cold i think minus one or two degrees so we were celsius sure. yes 
we weren't <laughs> sure we want the monitors uh, stay outside, but then we just decided that we w wouldn't do it again. So we let them just stay outside overnight. Yep. And when we came early in the morning the next day at like 5 a.m. after sleeping for four hours, everything was covered in snow. So we were wondering if the monitors are going to work, if we are going to get electrocuted. But um, we are but lucky we, we, guys. We, we survived. Um, the problem though was that it was very, very cold. Since the song is five minutes long, we had to go outside on the roof in the cold, film the video, then we would run inside, drink tea, pee, and come back and do it all over again. And since there were only two of us, um, we couldn't film multiple cameras at once. We had to do each new angle for the song. We had to run the song again and I had to pretend to sing it. And the problem was also that I had to be barefoot because I was in white socks. Yeah, so I told you, please, can you take off your shoes? And I was like, oh my God, Alex will be frozen. But I see that it's better, so I told him and he did. By the time when we finished, we were running out of time and when the landlord came to take her apartment back, uh, Anastasia um, was still taking pictures of salaries in the snow. Yes, and <laughs> I, I felt like, oh my god, okay, I will just say that I really love veggies. We also had to clean the apartment from paint because there was paint everywhere. So when the landlord suspected that we were vegetable photographers, we decided to confirm that that was the truth. We weren't actually shooting a prog metal music video with an aborted fetus doll and throwing paint and crashing monitors on her balcony. And also, do you remember something about drone story? Yeah, there was a drone story. The apartment had very big windows and the windows were in the corners. So there was this window and this window. And we thought it would be a great idea to fly a drone from the side into one window, show the doll on the bed, and then fly out from the front window. Well, the problem is, when a drone flies into an apartment through a window, it creates a lot of wind. The air crashes into the walls and then is reflected back onto the drone. So the drone starts wobbling like this when it flies into a window. It's not stable um, at all then. And I think we almost crashed it into a lamp or something. So the shot uh, wasn't successful. But we also had a shot that didn't make it into the video because it looked funny. But we had a drone. The fridge? Yeah, we had oh a, God, the drone yeah. film me from over the fridge. <laughs> and um, the problem was that it was also creating all of wind. <laughs> and hair moves, everything moves if you stay below it. And it didn't look very realistic. It, it looked really <laughs> weird, but why not? With the cinema shots, it actually turned out very cool because um, due to the pandemic, people couldn't go and watch movies. So to support themselves, the New Horizons movie theater decided that they would just rent the movie halls to people to just watch any movies they would want. So basically we had to loop all the surveillance camera footage uh, and we had our own man responsible for lighting. We would call him and he would either switch the lights on or switch them off depending on what we needed at the point. Uh, I think one of the most challenging shots to pull off was the shot where I was touching the doll with my hand because I had no idea if my hand is too close, too far. I was telling you, but I also <laughs> had no idea. Like, honestly, you cannot actually explain it very clear. So I was like, oh my God, Alex, please go there. Almost the end, looks good. And the shot with the head, remember everything was looped. So it was live for like one minute or 30 seconds. And we had to figure out the hand placement correctly in the time frame. So when I was color grading the footage, I came up with a really great look and then I showed it to Anastasia and she said uh, that I look like Shrek, the Something movie character, like because yeah. my face was all green and I'm like, but it looks, it looks like evil. That's, that's the point. It wasn't good, I'm sorry. It wasn't good. Like uh, honestly. So I had to put a mask on my skin, which was dynamically changing with every frame of the video to keep the skin from going green so that everything else would be green and strange and contrasty, but so that my skin would still stay normal. Uh, the problem was that in many shots, 
my skin was the same color as the salaries or as the chairs and the masks would spill everywhere so I had to um, configure the masks to not only follow the color of the skin but also follow the geometry of my hands and face and I had to animate the borders of the masks to prevent them from spilling on other objects so that's why it took me three months to color grade the music video so we had two fake shots we had one shot of the doll composited onto the camera lens and one shot of me composited on the reflection on the window yeah, I quite like the idea of this, this uh, aquarium <laughs> yeah so I, I wanted to bring a whole bunch of uh, five liter plastic bottles and fill them with water to which Anastasia said that it would look like garbage so we found a um, transparent bowl somewhere in that apartment. It fit perfectly for the, for the purpose. We were so hungry that I actually, yeah, it's, it's not staged. When I did the head dive into the plate, I actually ate some of the celery because we were filming for the whole day that day. And I was really, really hungry. Me too. But you didn't have a chance. Yes, because I was behind the camera. So overall, it was a very daunting but exciting experience shooting the music video. We are very excited to have you here. We'll have more music videos coming because we shot three music videos over the course of the past year. And for now, thanks for checking out Celery. Feel free to like, leave a comment near, leave a comment down below. It will be very, very appreciated. And thank you for all the support. We are very happy to have you on board and see you very soon. See you! Bye.